It would be nice to have a, a couple of weeks with the players without a game to get to know them a bit better. Fantastic, fantastic, especially when when you are arriving to a new job, a different reality, it's important for you to have time, time to pass your ideas, time for, for the players know you, and of course time for, for you know the players as that. So it was really important to have this time in order to spread our ideas, to work our ideas, and try to do some upgrades between the Hamilton match and Motherwell match. Yeah, one of your changes is that the players are now six days a week. Have they all been happy to accept this change? And <laughs> How many days is having one week? So they get one day off. How many days is having one week? Seven days in a week. How many days off do you have? I only have one day off as well. So they have it. Some, sometimes they are lucky because they are going to receive two days off or even three. So it goes by the pattern. And the pattern is not me who set it up but it's, it's, the, it's the schedule of the matches. So let's say that if you play from Sunday to Sunday, Monday is off for them, okay? Let's say you play Saturday to Sunday. Sunday and Monday, they will have one more day than you, it's off for them. So it's a pattern. It goes by pattern because we work by stimulations. Stimulations need to lead to adaptations and those adaptations need to go by one pattern. If I change the pattern, I change everything. So that's what they are also getting adapted. And of course, we change it because uh, in, in our week, in our football week, we don't have a, a day off in the middle of the week. We prefer to have one match in that day instead of have uh, one day off. And the players have all been responsive to what you want to do and the, the plans that you're putting in place. Fantastic, fantastic. I mean that you are depending on the players all the time and the first time, the first step for you to, to get with the players is, is to convince the players. I do believe that everything is much more easier when you convince the players and they really believe on the process. So that's, that's what we have been looking and in those, not only in those last two weeks, but especially since the first day we arrived. I tell you that today, for example, we hold a meeting with the, with the players, the first meeting regarding to the opponent, but other meetings also regarding to, to this sort of process on convincement. And we do believe that we have fantastic players, fantastic human beings, and we are getting very good along with them. So I think everything is perfect until now. Does it surprise you that you get questions on players coming in for six days a week? Is that just what you are accustomed to? No, because uh, normally we as human beings, when, when something changes in our pattern, in our life, the first thing you do is one step back because we are animals of habitudes. We are used to do it in one way or another. And when someone is coming and changes the thing, so the first thing is putting some questions. And I need to understand and respect that but it's 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 normal to to go that way and i want of course when the people is not uh, understanding the things or the things are not clear at least to let me know in order for me to clarify it that's all do you have a football culture that has to change here do you have to make up changes to the, the football culture here at Rangers? no no i mean changing one pattern is not changing the football culture uh and I think no one should think about change the football culture of Rangers. I mean, 144 years of history, the titles, the fans, and, and, uh, and what really represents the work, the passion that represents the work in this club, you need to keep it like this, and you need to add more to it. So I'm not a guy that is going to change this, but I'm going to change the patterns regarding to the stimulations. We want the players to receive it which are always directed to the, our style of play, which is related to the, to the club style of play since ever, and, uh, and to get the right adaptations in order for them to be ready to perform the way we want them to perform. That's all. Do you find that the, the style of play that was already here, that the previous manager used, is a good starting point for where, the way you want the team to play? Is it, is it, it, it wasn't was one good starting point to make the assessment, okay? So as I told you, different styles of play uh, need um, different stimulations. Mark was were having one style of play and the stimulations that he was provoking on the training sessions on the players was one and he was receiving one sort of specific adaptations as well. 
we see the, same, the, the things a little bit different. So that means that changing the style, changing the stimulations, and changing the adaptations. Some sort of adaptations take more time than others for you to get adapted. But our plays are getting adapted to this pattern that we are just spoken since the very beginning. So it's very interesting the way they are receiving it and the way they are coping with it. Is being easy? No, because we are changing the things. But we don't want to change the deepest of the culture of the club. Just a philosophy regarding to one style of play, stimulations, adaptations and patterns. Pedro has been some stories this week about one of your young players, Billy Gilmore, the suggestion that he may be closing in a, a move to Chelsea. What are your thoughts on it? Is he somebody that you've identified that you see as having a future at this club and you'd like him to stay? I think Bill is not only to have a bright future in this club, I think Bill is going to have a bright future in football. Bill is a clever kid. I used to call him Billy the Kid because of his age. Uh, and and a, a, a clever kid for me, or a clever footballer, it doesn't matter about the age, is that someone that anticipates everything that is going before all the others. And Bill is that sort of player. He understands what's going on, so he anticipates. And with only 15 years old, he can, he can compete with boys of 20 years old, or even coming sometimes, as he already came, to play with us on the first team, or training with us on the first team. So it's going to be a bright future. Now we have one situation, a situation about the club, which is, which is uh, belonging now with us, and we have a family situation as well. Okay? So it's, um, we need to deal with it. And regarding to deal with it, I hold a meeting with the parents. I explain to them my point of view, which I'm going not to, to, to share it with you in this moment, but I explain my point of view. And I do believe that Billy, the family, ourselves, ourselves, or even Chelsea or another club later on in the future, to receive him in another level, being a different footballer, a better footballer, a better man, and for sure much more uh, prepared in order to take this, uh, this adventure. So that's, that's my point of view regarding to that. You would believe it would be better if he was to stay here? I believe that it's better for him to stay here. Yeah. And what sort of messages are you getting back from the family? Is, is he close to a decision on that? Do you, do you so that's the point I, I tell you I cannot share with you. How close are you to appointing a local coach? We still, we still assess. We are, we are still assessing. Um, everything is, is getting by the hand. Thanks God. <laughs> it's been a long two weeks also regarding to that. It's not easy when you, when you need to be seated with a, with a person in front of you and and try to know him in one hour, one hour and a half, in order to assess to the points you need to assess to take your decisions. Uh, we are about to conclude it. Uh, I hope to have that decision for myself by the end of this week. You know that next week is going to be a busy week. You know that I need to be much more concentrated on the matches than present someone and uh, teach, teach everything in just a short period of the time. So maybe the announcement, I will do it on the week after the next one. So I hope to have the decision earlier, to, to, to put the decision out maybe after the next week. What do you see the Scottish assistant or the, the person with Scottish knowledge mm -hmm. doing for you? What, what will his job be? Will he be a coach or just someone who advises and keeps an eye on things for you? No, 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 no. Look, I'm the first one to give the example. This is not... The, it's total, total different philosophy. Now I understand. Uh, I mean, we arrive here from seven to seven. If I and sometimes I would like to the day to have forty-eight hours, because I'm I need to be everywhere, and that's the the man and manager style here on the British football. And most of most of the times, that's the reason why the managers are out. And I do believe that the manager need to be with the players as much as you, as you can. This is about players, this is about the relation. And the training is having um, a fundamental import, importance to us related to the matches. So I've, if I'm not there, they are not going to perform the same way. We have studies, just the same exercise, lead it by the first team coach and the manager is a totally different exercise. Not only about the stimulations, but two different people leading the same exercise is a different exercise 
because the simulations are different, so as the adaptations. So I need to be present. So it needs to be one of us. It's not, not to be with an assistant manager or someone that is outside or inside. It's someone that needs to be with our philosophy about the coaching stuff. So we need to be loyal. You need to be knowledgeable. You need to have the, the, the um, uh, spirit of, of mission. You need to know the, the Scottish football. And you need to know how to relate with you guys. You need to know how to relate with the players. So that's what I'm looking for. But when I have some doubts, and I need to know in depth the reality of the Scottish football. For example, tomorrow I'm going to travel to Dundee to watch a live Dundee against Aberdeen, to know the environment, to know the teams, to know the players. I need to have someone beside me that I just ask it, and I have a, a, a direct answer just like that. So it's also something that I need. But it's not someone that came and it's just like a... A body that is here present with one name or experience on the back? That's not what I'm looking for. And with all that in mind, do you know yet what a square go is? What a what? A square go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I, I don't understand what, what's the meaning of the question. A square, a square. A, a confrontation in the, the, the technical area. Did you see it last night at the... I just saw it... Uh, I just saw it in the morning when I was having the breakfast and I asked the guys if it was in Mexico or Argentina. <laughs> but uh, it, it was uh, like... It's a square goal. That's, that's uh, okay. Goal. okay. So now you know. Now you know. Now I know. If that happened to you, would you get involved in that kind of fracas? No, I would. Maybe at the beginning I was like an explosive guy. Now I'm, I try to be more out. I was that sort of guy, if I saw some fight on the, on the, on the street, I go and try to put the guys apart. Sometimes I take some, I say, and I learn to myself, so let it, let it be quiet. Just be down there on the side. Square goal. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm out. That means that? <laughs> now you know. Now I know. <laughs> Pedro, we spoke now to I know what to do. <laughs> Pedro, we spoke to Stuart Robinson yesterday about um, contract situation with Clint Hill and Kenny Miller. Mm -hmm. He said that the club are happy to wait for you to assess the squad and, and see mm -hmm. where you want to go with it before you start mm -hmm. handing out new deals. Is that the way you see it? As you know, we have um, linked with your question. We have um, two points in order to consider. The first one is that uh, one week ago, roughly, I held a meeting with the chairman, with David. It was a fantastic meeting. And one of the points was going in that direction. Not only about the two names that you, that you refer, but of course, regarding to assess the whole squad in order to take decisions sooner than later. So we are already working on it. And the other point related to this is about the, the football director. So at this moment, and even if it's going to be present, I need to be present in this work. It's part of my job as well. So we are assessing in order to, to have the decisions sooner than later. And when someone is coming on board, you will have at least half of the work done, if not all the work regarding to start in another, in another level regarding to that, uh, to that orientation. Pedro, what can you tell us about Motherwell? You knew a lot about Hamilton last time. <laughs> I know. Uh, I have more time to, to, to analyze Motherwell. Um, I think they more or less perform the same, the same style of play. Maybe more or less the same formation, especially on the back. We don't know if we expect uh, they then play like a 4-4-1-1 with McDonnell as a shadow striker behind Moult, which are the main target players, because if it's one team that perform more defending and looking for the counter, uh, having a McDonnell in between lines to receive as the, the first deliver guy and after look Moult on the, on the movements that they do on the left opening to, to explore the open pitch, and uh, if they are going to defend with a back five, which they did it, for example, against Aberdeen. So we are, we are ready for, for both situations because when you organ analyze the opponent, um, you analyze the opponents in order for you to, to add something to the game, I mean, to prepare the game along the week, even if 80% of that preparation is regarding to your team and your principles, you need to know how and when to apply it in one sort of, uh, of opponent. So it's different opponent because the spaces, for example, we can explore against them are different than the spaces we 
we could explore against Hamilton. And the same, maybe the, the points that are more or less the same is about defensive movements and the offensive transition with a long ball, second waves, which this team is more aggressive arriving. And after also about the spaces we could have on the transition after we regain the possession. So those are the, the similitudes and those are the difference between between the, the those two teams. Pedro, I think you've got James Tavernier suspended, but Andy Haldi is back. Is there any other team news? Is uh, is is ended uh, right back? No, no, but I'm saying he's, he's back from. <laughs> no, I saw. I thought you were relating uh, one of the. No, Andy uh, starts working with us two weeks ago, so he's a very nice guy. So he's a, he's a guy that knows deep the club. He really leaves the club differently. <coughs> Uh, he's doing a fantastic job. He's coming from one injured period. He's doing good and he's on the, the list of the possible players that can be with us uh, 18 or 19 to be to be on the after tomorrow match. So that's all. No, as you know, Lee, Lee Wallace came with some pain on the stomach uh, after the, the national team game. He has been uh, recovering along the week today. He, he starts and do all the practice with us, so he's an option. Uh, I think we have, uh, except James, all the, cl all the players are available to, to be options or to start the game.